Crayon Hot Thai Kitchen, we are going to tie up your burger. Sawadee Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today, I'm going to switch things up a little bit and instead of doing something traditional, I want to show you how you can take some of the Thai ingredients that you may have bought for my other recipes and use them in something you might already make. So today, I'm going to start out with making a lap burger. Now, lap is a salad made of ground meat and tons of herbs and it's a perfect candidate for uh, burger vacation, I guess. So uh, let's get started by looking at our ingredients. And then you simply just put everything in a bowl and mix it all up. So some of you might be thinking, wait a minute, you didn't put lemongrass, kefir lime leaves, and galangal in your lap last time. And you're right, I didn't. And that is because these herbs are more commonly added in lab that's made with dark meat, uh, red meat and fish because these herbs work really well to sort of brighten up gaminess, like lap beef or lap with duck. And also, if the fish is a little fishy, it works really well to soften that up as well. Excuse me, but I'm gonna go in with my hands now. It's so much more fun like this. Ooh, this would be really good with lamb, like a lamb burger. And that's it. And now we're gonna form these into patties. Now that we've got our uh, patties formed, you can either grill them or you can fry them on a skillet if you'd like. Today is a relatively nice-ish day, so we're gonna go out on the balcony and grill them. So now that our burgers are grilled, they even toasted the buns, we're ready to put it all together and we're gonna make a slaw. And the slaw is pretty much the lap without all the sturdy herbs and the meat. So it's all the herbs and the veggies, plus the shredded cabbage, which is often the condiment for lap anyway, so it works perfect. You can use green, I'm using purple because that's what I had in my fridge. So I got two cups of cabbage and then we're gonna go in with some chopped cilantro, some green onions chopped as well. And of course, the most important part, mint leaves. Got a cup of mint leaves, so lots of mint because I love mint and it's also one of the most important ingredients. So I roughly chopped the big leaves. You don't want to chop all this too fine because then you want to toss it. If you chop it too fine after you toss it, it'll wilt really, really quickly. So what else goes in there? Of course, the toasted rice powder. It wouldn't be lap without this. Don't eat the shallots because the shallots went into the burger. So if you notice, all the sturdy herbs go into the burger because they can withstand cooking. So we want to cook it into the burger, but all the delicate herbs, you want to keep it out of the cooking and keep it fresh. And then lime juice, about three tablespoons. And then one tablespoon fish sauce, which is less than normal lap ratio, but then our burger is already salty. So chilies, of course. And I toasted this chilies. Um, myself and I even mixed in some dry kefir lime leaves into it so it's extra extra fragrant Ooh. Gosh, so beautiful too the summer is coming so maybe you can do this for your next barbecue god that looks so nice it would be really good in a taco too mm. Mm, 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 that's good okay Buns, ooh, that's spicy. I'm not a fan of mayo. You can do mayo if you want, but beyond the fact that mayo is not really a Thai ingredient, <laughs> I just prefer a little bit of siracha sauce. And this is the original Thai siracha that I've talked about in my 
I think Pad Thai Variations episode. So I've got that, give it some moisture. What else do we have? Avocado. I love avocado as a creamy component to anything. It's a lot healthier, it's a fresh ingredient, it's not rich and heavy like mayo, and you can put a lot on without feeling bad about it. Good for you. And I don't like avocado slices. This is just mashed up avocado. I find the slices, <laughs> when you bite into it, it always slips out the other side. Drives me nuts. So this, it'll stay put. Okay, that looks good. And I always conflicted whether the vegetable should go on top or under the burger. We're gonna go put it on top. Our burger patty, which I've managed to get nice cross hatch, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock marks. Some onions. Now at this point, you can put whatever you want. Cucumber, lettuce, tomatoes work really well. I'm gonna do some red onions. Gonna mimic our shallots. And then some tomato. I hope I didn't make this too big for my mouth. I love it. Okay, let's see if I can do this for you. I think I made this a little too big for me, but that's okay. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. That's better than when I tested it the first time for whatever reason. But, um,. Oh my god, I hope you get a chance to try this. It's so unbelievably good, it's not even funny. And that's it! That is my lab burger. I do hope you get a chance to make it. And when you do, send me some photos on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it doesn't matter which way. And just think at your next barbecue how impressed your friends will be. So if you want the recipe, you can go to hatthaikitchen.com. If you enjoy the show, please click to subscribe. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. Mm-hmm.